My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 42 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be answering further questions under inequalities. Before we look at questions from the Flash Learners Jam app, let's see interpretations of inequalities number line. Now, in inequality, there are various ways or various areas an arrow can face, and there are areas it cannot face. If this refers to as greater than, and this means lesser than, if this means greater than or equal to, and this means lesser than or equal to, it implies that anytime an arrow is going this way, it means two things. Either greater than or greater than or equal to. If arrow is facing this way, it will mean two things. Lesser than or lesser than or equal to. These are the two things it means for an arrow to face this way. Arrow can be light or shaded. If I have arrow like this, this is light arrow. If I have arrow like this, this is a thick or shaded arrow. If you have arrow like this going this way, this is a light arrow. If you have arrow like this going this way, this is a thick arrow. For thick arrow, they mean greater than or equal to. And they can also mean lesser than or equal to. In this case, this is a thick arrow and it is going this way. So this represents greater than or equal to. This is a thick arrow and it is coming this way. This represents lesser than or equal to. This is a light arrow, not thick, and it is going that way. This will simply be only greater than, no equal to. This is a light arrow, and it is coming this way. This will be only lesser than, not lesser than, or equal to. All that being said, you see something like this in the number line. One, this arrow is going this way. That will be what? Greater than. Here, it is thick. That will be what? greater than or equal to. And it is starting from here. This therefore represents S is greater than or equals 4. And look at this. This is a light arrow going this way. And it's starting from 4. It therefore means S is greater than 4. And here, this is a light arrow coming this way. And it is at 4. This implies that S is lesser than 4. It is very, very easy to interpret inequalities using number line. Then here, you see, this is a thick head and an arrow is going this way. The presence of thick head at all simply means this guy represents S is greater than or equal to minus 2. It is starting from minus 2. S is greater than or equal to minus 2. Now for here, you see that this arrow, this is thick and it's coming back this way. This is simply S is lesser than or equals minus 2. This is minus 2. Then here, you see that it is thick and the arrow is going that way. This will simply be S is greater than or equals 2. So starting from 2 and here is minus 2. Look at this. The difference between this one and this one is that this is a combined inequality. You see here and here. The arrows are together. This is trying to tell you range of numbers. For range of numbers and this arrow like this together, it means this guy started from minus 3 and it ended at minus 2. So what values of s will give us this range? It will simply be that minus 3 is lesser than s and s is lesser than or equals 2. You see a graph. This graph is coming below. It starts from 3 and it ends at 4. Since it is under the 
as is or below, it shows that this 3 means M or S is lesser than 3 and this 4 means M or S is lesser than 4 since they are under. Then if they are above, they will be called greater than. Look at this case. We are talking about the shaded region. Here you see that on top is being shaded. Here also on top. Since on top of here is shaded and we have minus 5 here, here is therefore S is greater than minus 5. On top, greater than. Here can also be S greater than or equals minus 5. Then here, up is also shaded and it is in 3. Which means S is greater than 3 or S is greater than or equals 3 will be the shaded part. These are the basic things Jam expects you to know. Note the complex side of issues. Factorizing this guy, we have S plus 4, S minus 3, greater than or equals 0. The two numbers that when we add, we get 1. When we multiply, we get minus 12. They are plus 4 and minus 3. From here, we see that S plus 4 is greater than or equals 0. S plus 4 is greater than or equals 0. Or S minus 3 is greater than or equals 0. In this case, when it comes to quadratic inequalities, this is what you should do. The one that gives you a negative number, invert the sign. The one that gives you a positive answer, the sign will remain. Here, yeah, if S plus 4 is greater than or equals 0, it means that S is greater than, S is lesser than or equals minus 4. Because as you move the, to this side, you get a negative number. Or, here, yeah, if S minus 3 is greater than or equals 0, it means that S is greater than or equals 3. Because we arrive at the positive answer, the number remains the same. That is the solution to this inequality as seen in option D. This is what we are given in this question. Now, what does it represent? If this thick line is starting from here, it means that this arrow is going this way. If this light uh, dot is starting from here, it means this one's own arrow will be coming this way. So here is simply S is greater than or equals minus 2 because it is thick. Here is starting from here and it's coming this way. So this is simply S is lesser than, it is at 3, lesser than 3. So let's see. S is greater than or equals minus 2 and S is lesser than 3. But the options are in combined form. This makes life easy for us. I told you that to combine inequalities, start from the one with the smallest number. Here is minus 2 is smaller than 3. So the one with the smallest number, invert it to have, if S is greater than or equals minus 2, minus 2 is therefore lesser than or equals S. After inverting this, combine with this to have minus 2 is lesser than or equals S, and S is lesser than 3. That is how to answer questions like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we shall be answering more questions and saying bye-bye to inequalities. Get the flash, then I jump up and begin to play with further questions. Even the app alone is enough for you to pass jam. It doesn't work with internet. You practice and enjoy everything offline. See you 